Alright guys, welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Liz and I help people get high-tech futuristic careers in robotics. I run a mentorship program and I'm constantly coming across new opportunities in the market, helping my clients make that move in as little as 12 weeks. And I figured I would just share some real-time, you know, Monday morning quarterbacking for you guys on jobs that I'm thinking about today this week and opportunities that I think are going to become huge in the next probably year to five to 10 years out and just kind of give you like a behind the scenes look at my process and how I go about finding cool opportunities in the market. So let's just go right ahead through this. I've put together some picks here. I'm actually in the process of building out a tool that finds all these opportunities because for the longest time I've just been collecting them and sending out to clients. So I'm, I'm actually turning that into a software that puts all these opportunities out in front so that folks like yourself can find them and access them. But the first opportunity, we're gonna do a leadership style role, then we're gonna do like an AI type role, and then we're gonna do like a junior level role. So that way I'm kind of covering a variety of different types of opportunities and give you kind of a ballpark. Market-based wages is something that I talk about quite a bit, like how to how to make sure you're not hitting a salary ceiling and how, how to make sure you can keep advancing in your career if you wanna work in robotics. And so I just wanted to show you some real data here, some real opportunities um, at the time of this recording, and the time of publication, these are active jobs, so you feel free to go out and find them and apply for them if you think you're a good fit. And definitely use my process here. There's lots of resources in this robotics career playlist. And if you'd like my help more directly, you can check out mentorship. There's a link in the description, but let's hop right into it. So the first role that I wanted to point out is the senior director of engineering role at Torque. And Torque, if you're not familiar with them, they have the self-driving trucks. And let's just go ahead and talk about more specifically the details of this role. So this is a senior director level role of engineering. This is a full-time role. You can work remotely in the US. They put on their job. It's 262,000 up to $314,000 a year to be the senior director of engineering. A couple of responsibilities that you would have in this role is you need to provide strategic direction and leadership to the engineering managers and their teams in the development and execution of autonomous truck behaviors, path planning, and prediction of other road users. So a key thing to note is if you are the kind of person that has a strong technical background, but you wanna shift into leadership, there's kind of this continuum where you are tactical versus strategic. If you've spent the majority of your career tactically working in engineering and you've gotten really good at the tactics, but you wanna expand your income and shift into leadership, uh, this would be a good opportunity to not only advance your career, but to obviously earn more and use your skill set to help other people, you know, advance their career. So kind of step into that leadership level role, do more um, st strategy and work with engineering managers. So I'd imagine that it's going to be kind of like the director and then you'd have like engineering manager, engineering manager two, whatever engineering manager N. I don't know how many different groups they have. Um, but basically they're kind of, their little teams kind of work like this, where they have probably a lot of engineers underneath them. And then you're just driving strategy and vision. And I'm sure there's probably a team that's focused on maybe potentially each of these categories separately. And you're going to be contributing a lot to the overall vision and execution of the strategy for, um, engineering. So then you're going to also do a classical algorithms, cutting edge machine learning. So this is gonna be more sophisticated engineering. I would consider this maybe more software sides. So if you have that strong tactical software background and you wanna make that shift into leadership, this is kind of a winning combo. We'll put you um, above 250K a year and we'll get you kind of to that leadership director level role if that's the move you're looking to make. And you're also working in a very innovative industry, autonomous trucking. Um, there's been a lot of development with this over the last decade. And I think right now we're just starting to see a lot of the fruits of the labor in this industry. So definitely an interesting opportunity here. The next pick on my list is less leadership and more engineering, more uh, tactical. There's a company called Martra and they are based in San Francisco and they have this, uh, it's basically a fulfillment system that allows you to uh, pick and place and receive um, pallets. And so they've got some interesting technology going on here. This role is for AI and CV, so computer vision engineer. This is a lead engineering role, 200,000 to 240,000 yearly uh, based in San Francisco. So if you've wanted to kind of take your software to the next level, you're interested in AI and computer vision and bringing your skills to a team by leading that team, this could be a good opportunity. Let's go ahead and take a look at the breakdown again. And we've got the key responsibilities here. So lead AI scientists to join our engineering team, implement and execute our AI development. So this would be a founding member role, pretty cool and uh, distributed robotic fleet. 
cross functionality to prototype, intersection of AI and robotics. So if you if you're kind of on the software side and you want to get you want to do AI, you want to do robotics, you want to use software to do that, and you want difficult problems to uh, to solve, then you'll be able to kind of work on these different routing vehicles. Let me see if we can find quickly a demo of this because I was looking at them earlier and they're, it's it's a pretty cool concept. These are the robots here, and it's like warehouse automation. Um, these robot these are the robots here, and they're they're almost like a palletizing system. I wish that they had just like, here it is. This is like kind of a good visual right here. See, right in here, you've got these robots and they're kind of doing these vertical movements here. Vertical, it's almost like three dimensional movements here to move um, uh, pallets across different routes for inventory, inventory management. So pretty cool opportunity here on more of the AI software tech side if you wanna be more tactical and bring kind of your software skills to the table and work on something interesting. And then lastly, we've got Robotics Field Engineer at Bear Robotics. They have a bunch of these different opportunities across the country. This one is in Miami, Florida. And let's take a look at the breakdown here. Full-time on-site Bear Robotics Field Engineer. They didn't specify the actual salary, but based on what we're seeing kind of in the market right now, I would guess that this opportunity would be somewhere around 70,000 to maybe 120,000 a year. Um, so definitely an entry level opportunity to do some debug, troubleshoot, deployment. So here's kind of what they say the responsibilities are. So install and set up robots in various industry settings, including but not limited to restaurants, senior living, communities, hotels, casinos, corporate campuses, sports venues, and more. So if you are an engineer and you're trying to break into robotics and you have a strong problem solving, debug, troubleshoot, electromechanical background, and you want to be hands on with equipment, getting a role doing field service work can be a really great way to get your foot in the door because you're actually going to be working with the technology and you're going to be working with the customer. So you're going to learn a lot about how the robots are actually going to be used. And I just think it's a really great opportunity to check out especially if you're the kind of person that gets bored sitting at a desk and you actually just want to be interacting with the, the new technology, finding field engineering or field deployment or any sort of like hands-on role like this will give you that wealth of experience and the opportunity to actually see the technology being used. So the next part of this uh, video, I just want to cover a couple of opportunities. So the first field that I've just been seeing a lot and what ends up happening is these opportunities, they come across my desk and then I'm just sharing them with my mentorship clients. So I, I work with clients directly based on their background to help them break into robotics using you know, their past experience, using their education so that they don't need to go back and get more degrees. They can just leverage what they have and make the move into robotics quickly. And so as opportunities come up, I'm constantly finding ways to just put them back out into the mentorship group and send them to, directly to people that their background matches the opportunity. And something that's been coming up a lot are construction robots. So we've been seeing these robots I, I shared on my Instagram. If you're not following me, it's at Learn Robotics on Instagram. I shared the HP site print robot. And basically what this does is it maps out 2D layouts so that you don't have to do manual snapping and measuring on construction sites. So the site print robot actually does that. And it, it, it's a little mobile robot that drives around and maps out all the dimensions for construction. Another company that's pretty popular in the space is called Built. And Built Robotics, they have these autonomous excavators. So heavy machinery that are, that are now robots. And there, there are probably a bunch more that I'm, that I'm kind of just riffing right now. There's another company that I believe either Lennar bought or they invested in that actually prints um, homes. So this is more on the like 3D printing. Um, so you can check that out. But these are just some, some, some areas that I've just been seeing like motifs in for robotics that maybe aren't um, intuitive that I figured I would share here. Uh, the next one is warehouses. So warehouse uh, inventory management, we just talked about with this option here at Mitra. They do inventory management. Um, if you think about it, like one of the very first companies to do this was Amazon when they bought Kiva Robotics or now known as Amazon Robotics. So if you think about that, there are other companies like Amazon, like these little small like 3PLs, like third party logistic companies that can use technology to make their warehouse operations a lot more efficient and to optimize how they, how they move material and inventory around. There's another company that I'm, that I'm blanking on the name, but what they do is they actually have robots that will load and unload trucks. So robots that, that do uh, load and unload for uh, uh, large box trucks to kind of automate that process. Instead of having four trucks drive back and forth and back and forth, they actually automate that um, using some interesting technology there. So another cool opportunity for um, robotics in warehouses. And then the final one 
is humanoids. So I've been seeing a lot about humanoids this week. Um, we've got a couple of humanoids that are pretty famous. We've got the um, the figure AI humanoids that are that are kind of like very human looking. We've got I think Neo is another company that does humanoids, and then Tesla has Optimus. I think its name is Optimus, and this is Tesla's version of a humanoid. And they're predicting that Optimus is going to even be bigger than Tesla in probably the next five to ten years. And so I just wanted to point out some opportunities in robotics. We've got construction, warehouses, and humanoids. Um, as you're looking for a career in robotics, um, it's, it's challenging to find some of these hidden gems. So please subscribe to my channel here. I'm going to be making some announcements. I'm trying to build in public, and this is like the prototype. So all of these screenshots here are from my new software that actually finds scours the internet and finds like the coolest hidden jobs. These are jobs that you're not really going to find on Monster or Indeed or any of those big platforms. You have to kind of know what you're looking for. And because I've been working directly with people helping advance their careers in robotics, I wanted to have a tool that we could use internally for mentorship clients where they'd have full access to our database of all of the best hidden gems in robotics. And long term, we will be rolling out kind of a freemium version for everybody in my ecosystem to be able to use and have access to some of these opportunities. So while I'm doing that, I'm just kind of showing you some of the cool opportunities that are out there, giving you some different ideas to help you make that career move. And if you did like this style of video where you can see like how you could actually get into the robotics industry and what opportunities you could pursue, go ahead and like this video. It just lets me know if you like this kind of content and this commentary. And be sure to, like I said, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting more about the tool that I'm creating that does this automatically and how you could potentially get on our launch list for when that goes live to the public. But as of right now, that is all I have for today. If you'd like my help getting a career in robotics, go ahead and check out. There's a bonus video in the description below that walks through my entire process. Then you can apply if it makes sense. And if you're not convinced that I am a good fit to be your mentor, that's totally okay too. Here are some videos that you can check out.